Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you would, please like the video at the end and leave a comment if you want. I notice that a lot of us are not subscribed and it does not cost anything to subscribe. And if you don't like the videos, then you can always unsubscribe later if you want. And anyways, if in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to access and manage all USB and hard drive and SSD and M.2, any drive you had plugged into your computer. I will show you how to access and manage all of those using third party software. All software will be, will be linked into the description below for your use and please stay tuned. Let's get at it. So to start off with this video, I'm going to be going to be showing you the software I'm going to be using. It is right here called the mini tool partition wizard. And this is the free version of 12.1. And in this, you can see every drive and USB that you have plugged into your computer. And here you can access and manage everything from this application. And this will far exceed anything that you can do inside the Windows system itself. So to download this, all you gotta do is go to Chrome and go to partitionwizard.com. And here's the download links. You can download it now, or you can go to the Pro Edition. All download links will be included down into the description below for you to use. So the Pro options here, lifetime upgrade, Data recovery, three PC license is 129. You can upgrade from an old version or you can try a demo of that. And if we go back, you also have just the free version that you can download onto your computer. I already have it downloaded and installed, so I will not be going through that walkthrough process. And that is it for that. They do have some other things that you can browse on their website such as cloning disk, disk recovery, and resize and partitions. And that is all going to be resources that you can use to get to where you need to be. They also do have a partition wizard bootable that you can put on a USB drive. I will be covering a future video on that, on how you can put partition wizard onto a USB drive and then plug it into any computer and access that computer. I'll be covering that in a future video, so please subscribe and stay tuned for that. So anyways, I'm going to be walking you through how to use the partition wizard here. So I have a USB right here that I have plugged in my computer from a past project and a past video as well that I want to clean out. I want it completely wiped. So to do that, all you got to do is come down here and make sure you're clicked on to the actual drive itself. And this is the same process for every drive. Like I have three extra drives on my computer and then this is my Ubuntu system that I have installed and I can re I can reboot boot into that from my boot menu, menu on my computer when I boot my computer. And these, I have three other drives here and um, my main system is this drive and then three extra drives I have. This is my main window system here. So if I wanted to change anything here, which I would not recommend changing your window system because your computer will most likely not boot after. But if you want to, you can write, you can click on whatever you want to uh, manage and right click on it. And then you have all these options here of what you can do with that. So you can recover the data, format, delete, and so on. You can also split the partitions, copy them, and you can also check them and run a scan on the drive itself and make sure everything is A-OK -okay on that. And you can also wipe partitions. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to be using the USB drive that I have down here from a past video. And if I want to wipe that drive, all you have to do is right click on it here. On the main drive, if you want to clear the whole thing, right click over here in this area. If you have it partitioned, you'll have partitions and it'll be split just like this here. 
but since I want the whole thing wiped, I'm gonna just right click on this here and you have these different options. I find it's fastest to just delete the partitions, but also you can wipe the disk itself. Wiping the disk does take a lot of time because it's rewriting everything to zero and that is the cleanest way of doing it. If you just want a quick wipe on the drive, all you gotta do is just delete all the partitions and go from there. I can also surface test this and recover the data partition recovery on this as well. It'll compress down everything on the file into a recovery file, which is like window just like Windows done has done here. So I will go through and delete all partitions. And it will it'll tell you right here, are you sure you want to delete all partitions on disk six, which is the USB drive? and then select yes if you're okay with that and then it'll show as unallocated and that means that everything is gone from the disk including the partition so to do this to make it final you have to click apply down here and if you don't want that click undo so i'm okay with this so i'll click apply and you have another warning here applying pending changes so i'll select yes and it will apply all the pending changes successfully and click OK. So next you have just an empty drive without any partitions on it. So your Windows system is not going to recognize this as a USB drive and fix this unallocated problem that you have. All you have to do is click on this and right click on it and then create a partition. And you can label this anything that you want. I'll just label it USB just for time's sake here. And then you can create this as a primary or logical device. I would choose primary. You can also choose the drive letter. It does not matter which one you choose. Um, file system is usually in the NTFS for Windows systems. And your cluster size is, I'll leave that as default. And you can also partition this into any size that you want. So you can select a custom size partition that you want. And you can also have it just as the whole thing so that you have the whole USB. And then there's your partition size there and partition alignment, I would choose megabytes for sure and then click OK. And after that, you must click apply and it will also warn you again and choose it yes and it will create the partitions it's going to take a second and then it will update the partition information and then it will tell you all applied pending all the applied pending changes are successful and then just click ok and there's your usb it is all good to go and we can demonstrate this by going here and that is the usb right here and there is nothing on it and you can also do this with any other USB or like hard drive or M.2 drive or any storage drive that you have. You can use Partition Wizard to access and manage your files and partitions. So you have this drive here. You can also go through and you can hide the partition, service test it, and a bunch of other options. I'll let you all explore that yourselves once you download this application here. And you can also see all these in writing. EPT recovery is same, that is the, the Samsung M.2 drive here that I have is my main system that is that Windows is on and that runs on GPT. And that is pretty much it for the basic utilities that the Mini 2 Partition Wizard can offer you. You also have some other options. You can migrate your OS to a another drive as well. So you can move your sit your Windows system to or any operating system to a separate hard drive if you're like moving to a new computer or something and you want your and you're upgrading your drive. You can copy the partition wizard, copy the disk wizard, partition recovery, and many other options here set labels on things, surface test, um, any other options.
You also have these options here. And you can also run disk benchmarks, space analyzers, um, protection recovery, data recovery, and data backup as well. Bootable Media is right here, and I'll be covering this in a, another video. So please stay tuned and subscribe for that. And make sure you turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I upload that video. And I hope everybody enjoyed this video for today. And please remember to subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. And I appreciate everybody for watching. And remember to like the video at the end. And please stay tuned for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Depending on YouTube's upload speed, it might be the next morning. Sometimes YouTube is down, so unfortunately, I have to wait till the next morning. So I do apologize for that. But I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and please like and subscribe at the end. And hope everyone has a good day. Peace out.